Are you struggling to make yourself debt-free? Well, you're not alone in this dilemma. Millions of people face debt problems every day, and as a temporary fix, some would go to extreme measures of borrowing more money to pay off some debt. Which is honestly not an ideal thing to do if you want to get away from having debts. But how do you know that you have a debt problem? Well, in this video, we will share with you the 7 signs that you're dealing with a debt problem. And if you watch until the end of this very video, we will also share some tips on how you can overcome this problem, so make sure to stick around. Welcome to the Next Level Investors YouTube channel. In this video, we'll teach you tips and tricks to help you make money online. Feel free to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell, so you'll be updated whenever we upload a new video. Please like this video and leave a comment down below. Now let's get back to the video. Sign number one, you have no savings. The first sign that shows you have a debt problem is that you have no savings or you don't have enough savings. These are two potential signs that you have a debt problem because if you have little to no savings at all, you may find yourself in a serious financial trouble when emergencies arise. The problem with most people is that they think they can spend the way they please because they make enough money every single month. This kind of mindset will certainly put you in a tight situation when an emergency happens because you will end up having nothing to fall back on and will even lead to you making more debts. During emergencies, people without no savings will find it difficult to cope with the situation. Let's say for example, a person loses his job without any savings at all. The first problem that the person will encounter is the money he needs to survive for the next few weeks or months until he finds another job. So what's the next thing he will do to cope? He will then look for means to borrow money, but since he doesn't have any income to look forward to, it would be difficult for him to pay back that borrowed money. Now this is how debt will start to accumulate until that person realizes that it has become a serious problem. This is why having no savings is a sign that you are not successfully managing your finances. So now that we have identified this problem, how do you overcome it? Well, simply by creating a plan that will avoid yourself from any further debt. However slow you do it, make it a point to pay every single debt you owe. Finally, financial advisors recommend that you need to have about 3 to 6 months worth of living expenses saved in case an emergency arises. So starting now, make it a habit to save especially if you have no savings in your account. Sign number 2. You have no budget. Many people see budgeting as a burden rather than a tool to help them achieve their financial dreams. Instead of budgeting, they spend all their hard-earned money however they like, instead of planning where it goes. A common excuse people say for not having a budget is that budgeting is only for people with little money to spend on. So for them not making enough every month, budgeting is not needed. This is absolutely not correct because no matter how big or small your income is, budgeting is essential. Do you know how the wealthiest people manage their money? It is actually through budgeting. In fact, they manage their money through allocating every single dollar they earn. This is the reason why they can save and invest a lot at the end of the day. The truth is, without a budget, you can easily fall into the debt trap and it will be even difficult to get out of it. People having no budget simply means not having any plans with where their money goes. Some people even see budgeting as a restraint to their spending habits. Oftentimes, because we don't care about making a budget at all, we end up spending on things that are not necessary. Otherwise, if you begin to budget, you can reduce or even stop spending money on all those unnecessary things. You will eventually end up having more money to spend on things with a greater value and those that you actually need. You can also focus on repaying debt with the money you have saved. Sign number 3. You don't track your spending. Do you know how much you spend every month? If you can, then great. But if not, then this is a sign that you have a debt problem. This sign is connected with budgeting since if you cannot track your spending, then it will be impossible as well to budget. Even with a budget, not tracking all your purchases will eventually lead to a life of financial struggle. This is because even if you have created a budget, if you overspend on your purchases, you will still end up having no money at all at the end of the month. One reason why many people do not bother tracking what they spend is because they think it is not possible to do so. On the contrary, tracking where you spend your money is as easy as writing it down on a piece of paper. This doesn't even need a special skill to do because all you have to do is write down everything you spent on. 
If however you want it more organized, you can also use applications such as Microsoft Excel, and this will make tracking expenses much easier and faster. Sign number 4. Buying unnecessary things. What is the reason why you bought that designer bag? Is it because you need it or you just want to impress other people? Actually, buying expensive things is okay as long as you have the money to do so. But if it will bury you in debt, then you certainly have a debt problem. Just as Dave Ramsey said, we buy things we don't need with money we don't have to impress people we don't like. If you have this kind of mindset, then it will certainly lead you to a life of financial burden. You see, the basic human needs are food, shelter, and clothing. All others beyond these are considered secondary needs or likes that we can live without. One of the most basic examples for this is a car. While having a car offers convenience, it doesn't necessarily mean that it is a basic need to survive. The habit of buying things you don't need will eventually end up with a life full of debt. More so, even some basic needs can be reduced based on their level of financial reasonableness. For example, a pair of shoes is a basic need, but it doesn't mean that you really need to buy expensive shoes. Another example of something you do not need is an expensive and extravagant wedding. Let's face it, most people want a big wedding. But if this big wedding will cause you debt problems afterwards, then it's better to organize a low-cost wedding. After all, a memorable wedding is not based on how much you spend on it, but rather on the people you share the moment with. Finally, memberships and monthly subscriptions like gym memberships and cable payments are spending expenses you surely do not need. For this, you can review these memberships and see which one you really need and which ones you can do without. Buying things you don't need will always end in the same problem, debt problems. And just because you're getting a good deal on things on sale, it is still considered a waste of money. If in the first place you do not need it. Sign number 5. Making minimum payment only. If you want to pay back a debt, it's always advisable to pay the maximum amount that you can afford every month. If you're only paying for the minimum amount every single month, this is a sign that you have a debt problem. While there is a minimum requirement that every lender expects you to pay back monthly, like on your credit card, let's say as low as $20 or about 2% of the total amount, if you do pay this amount only, the chances are you will be paying for a much longer amount of time. Most people do this because they can easily cover that minimum amount every single month, but there are many disadvantages if you keep on doing this. For one, it will take a much longer time before you will be able to clear your debt. Sign number 6. You are paying debt with another debt. If you're paying an old debt with a new debt, then this is a sign that you have a debt problem. Some people resort to this strategy for the reason that their savings cannot cover the interest payments of their old loan. Actually, using this strategy has both its benefits and detriments. But overall, when you do this, you are simply transferring a debt from one creditor to another. This can be beneficial, however, if you were to pay an old loan that carries a higher interest with a newer loan that has a lower interest rate. However, it can be burdensome if you're paying a debt with let's say only 5% interest rate with another debt that carries a 20% interest. This will eventually lead you to living a life full of debt problems in the end. Sign number 7. You have maxed out your credit cards. Every credit card has its own maximum amount that you can spend on. However, if you're maxing out the limit of your credit cards, then you surely have a debt problem because this indicates that you heavily rely on paying with money you don't have rather than paying with cash you have available. If this continues, it will eventually put you in a difficult financial position because you have no savings in the first place. And when emergencies arise, you will have more difficulty because you will always fall back to borrowing more money. The problem would grow and get bigger if you're keeping more than one maxed out credit card because this will affect not only your financial position but also your credit score, therefore making borrowing money in the future more difficult. Now if you are experiencing one or more of the signs we have shown you today, it is not too late to get out of this debt trap. Make sure to follow the tips we have laid out for you earlier and pay your debt regularly. In no time, you will see yourself debt free and eventually live the financial life you have always dreamt of. And that is it for today's video, guys. If you've learned something from this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the next level investors, and don't forget to ring the notification bell. As always, if you have any concerns or questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for sticking around guys and I will see you in the next video.